So let's take a look at Honor Marie. And Honor Marie is a horse that um, I, I had had my eye on at two years old because it demonstrated the kind of progression that you always love to see. In particular, um, his final fraction was getting better without compromising anything on the early end. And that's a horse who's running against themselves as opposed to other horses. So I was really excited to see Anna Marie coming in as a three-year-old. Now, the Risen Star was the debut, and it was a little substandard, but it is to be understood. Sometimes closers need a little time, and uh, uh, but rebounded with a nice effort in the Louisiana Derby, which is certainly encouraging. Uh, Anna Marie is owned by a syndicate uh, led by Ribble Farms, uh, Whit Beckman, uh, the trainer, and Ben Curtis, the jockey, and uh, they've been a, a pretty good combination with this one so far. So we take a look at the pedigree, and you see by honor code, uh, AP Indy, uh, get, and uh, plenty of stamina up on the top end. Seattle Slew, that's a, that's a great stamina line. You see the uh, distribution, uh, the dosage index. You see there is some stamina here, so a 3.24. Um, again, it's a little high. Uh, a little higher but 3.24 is completely acceptable and again the, the numbers are a little skewed because we don't keep track of the uh, chefs to race but here's a nice thing to notice the genetic strength value score is 61.97 and that's when you consider the fact they don't keep track of the chefs to race that's a really high score um it used to be when they did keep track of them anything over 70 was outstanding and most of the better horses uh, just one that comes to mind, Street Sense, I think was around like 62. So that gives you an idea of, of the score. So that's a great sire line. And Dame Marie uh, was a uh, black type stakes winning mare. She did win on uh, turf, but uh, she's by Smart Strike. And certainly there's no loss in stamina there. So uh, this is a pretty good pedigree. You see down the conduit mare profile, it is skewed towards stamina, almost two to one to speed. So uh, the distances should never be a problem for a horse like Honor Marie because uh, he, he's bred to run all day. You look at the get of Honor Code, and um, a lot of these will be familiar. Um, on, uh, Honor AP, most notably, uh, who ran a really nice Kentucky Derby and, but for some trouble, might have had a good shot at winning it. Um, so uh, there, there's a quite a few that we, we've seen, um, and you see a lot of black type, obviously. So Honor Code's been a really solid sire, and so we're not going to worry about that. Now, we look at the... Um, Anna Marie's mother's uh, get. You see, she's only had three that uh, in racing. Quaternion, we've seen down at the fairgrounds, I believe, run a time or two. And uh, so Anna Marie would certainly be the star out of this group, uh, I'd say. But um, that's, uh, that's a pretty good distinction. So I think pedigree-wise, we don't have any problems with Anna Marie. So let's take a look at uh, his races and see if we can find uh, the kind of progressions we like to see. So let's take a look at the Kentucky Jockey Club. And this was the final race for Anna Marie's two-year-old campaign and had been progressing nicely, again, mentioning the fractions were getting steadily better with each race. There in the gate. And they're off. Real men violin breaks out okay, so to you stretch see ride Marie and Novo drifting to the back. And one red cent on the far outside. He's a charge been of horses into to that do. first turn, almost out inside. Breaks okay it's though. That's not an issue. He's getting stretch out of the gate. Right isn't there, anything we worry about? It's just the way the horse runs. It takes him a little while to get going. On. And risk it backs off them to track the pace from fourth to ahead of Real Men Violin, who's racing in fifth. Awesome Road comes out in sixth, Dancing Room wide while seventh. Anna Marie is at the back in eighth as they hit the back stretch run. Three ply battle through an opening quarter in 23 and three. Nomos down inside with a short lead, pushed along by stretch ride. One red cent is there. Risk it. Risk it is right up on the heels of these leaders. Ryder having to slam on the brakes down the back stretch. See, saving all the ground on the rail. 
down the back stretch. Real men violin slipping Staying out of beat. trouble. And that's, fifth, uh, there was, uh, uh, you see, they're pretty Mason tightly packed. And the fray you, the that's, where the, the, that's where the right issues the can uh, occur. And at the back is Anna Marie as they round the far turn. Nomo stays on the rail, though, which is kind of interesting. Ride. Here comes Awesome Road, four wide and revving up. One red that five horse, got to get around. Them. Yep, he Risk does. Is there. Real men violin is now in Picks traffic. his way through, He's takes him back out. Anna Marie comes alive with a wide sweeping move. It's wide open, top of the stretch. Changes stretch leads right on cue. Tough. Here's Anna Marie with a sweeping wide move open. on the far outside. And Real Men Violin punches through toward the rail. One for long to go. Anna Marie's up for a short lead. Stretch right a fights nice on. Nice big Real kick Men there. Violin down toward the rail. They're coming you to see the, the finish. The fractions and were, were fairly slow to moderate. So uh, uh, that's a pretty good two. effort closing Real into a, a, a mediocre Stretch pace, you could say, or Risk a little below average. And a pretty good time, 144 fit. for two-year-olds. So on his way without question after this one so now let's take a look at Anna marie's three-year-old debut in the risen star stakes and a lot has been made of this you know coming out not running terribly well but as we know with closers sometimes it takes them a race after a layoff to get and going they're off in the risen star stakes there's Cardinal. We we'll see Anna Marie broke Bruno. okay. That, that wasn't really the, the issue. It was just a little sluggish, probably, to get going, I'd say. The first turn, it's Trek Phantom. So Trek Phantom is just faster than Cardinal. Hall of Fame with resilience and beat dancer in the gold cap and sleeves. Saving ground is also Ruta. With on the outside, chasing freedom, and they have seven furlongs to run. And then toward the inside, saving ground is Real Men Violin as they go to the back of this sloppy track. And Sierra Leone settles in in the Navy Silks. Three clear from Moonlight, who's next. Well, four clear from toward the inside. Honor Marie and Tizzy Indy has so, dropped you know, back Anna to Marie, she's just saving First ground. That's what she does. Or four, he does, rather. Seconds. Always want to say it's she because it's Marie. It's Trek Phantom who made the top. So Trek Phantom leads them to a half mile from home in the Risen Star. And, you know, you also have to remember right the pace was pretty inside, slow here, too. And uh, that is something that we have to watch with Anna Marie. Uh, maybe a little more pace dependent than some of the other closers. But you see here she's getting it. Or he, again, drank uh, he's getting it going a little bit, and um, I think he was just, you know, just needed a race uh, more than anything else because uh, you see he he is winding up and uh, just doesn't have the same uh, the same kick that he had. Uh, and again, I think that's just a layoff, just get just uh, knocking the rust off. Because you see, he keeps running and he gets it going a little bit on the back uh, in, at the turn here. Phantom, and he's just behind it, and he's, he's just up against it because of the south, slow start freedom, to keep um, and just not being end. able to get gear as quickly. But look, he's Phantom, running fine. Chasing freedom and tight so that's why I watched this race. Sierra it didn't Leone give me any concern at all. Leone, I just think Sierra he needed Leone. a race. Sierra Leone, track, Still track finished Phantom fifth. Down. Chasing freedom third and so we got to see if he can he can recover from that one in the Louisiana Derby, which we'll take a look at next. So now we'll take a look at the Louisiana Derby, Relax. and as we know, the there was some uh, trouble um, at the beginning uh, with he's Antiquarian, the run. <laughs> but just left able to, to get him, everybody in okay. And Phantom with Joel Rosario, we're set. It's the Louisiana Derby. Here's John G. Dooley. Here we go. They're in the gate. And they're off. Did you see a good break from Anna Marie. Louisiana Derby. And there's also Perhaps a little more alertly than in the Risen Star, which is uh, good to see. Good time right off the bat. With this early bid for Joel Rosario, and taking to the to back, early lead as they head the first ground, turn. catching freedom. Merged in front of Hall of Fame with common defense right there. Also Ruta in fourth, Antiquarian in fifth, and Tuscan Gold is sixth as they enter the first turn. That comes next level one off the rail is Real Men Violin, and they have seven furlongs to run as these leaders go to the back of this historic New Orleans track. Anna Marie is racing outside of Agate Road, who settled with the rail, and Catching Freedom has dropped back to being 11th and last. The opening quarter covered in 23.49 seconds. And that's a little so quicker than Track Phantom wants Trek to go. And certainly the Common Defense here. did his Common job of putting the pressure on. Um, see, 48-1 is a little bit goal. quicker. Outside, Not Tuscan much, but a little bit quicker than what Track Phantom wants to go. Uh, so, uh, there was a little more pace than we had seen in Louisiana. Violin, eighth between horses and six lengths from Tuscan Gold. Gold leads to Louisiana Derby Field past the half mile. 
it comes out of Donna Marie's Marie's a little, little more alert. Roll, and the trailer remains catching freedom. Half mile in 48.33 seconds. Now it's starting to roll. Track Phantom, woman at, 12 at this seconds. point, this track Phantom, the fact that Anna Marie got the jump on Catch Freedom a little bit better place, much like the Derby with Mage and Angel of Empire last year, you'd have to like his chances at this point. Swings out about seven wide and drifted out a little bit, but nothing major. But uh, plenty of kick, and he's going right alongside. Up catching freedom. Catching freedom, catching freedom just Trump. a little bit they better. That's all it was. And the Han Marie rebounded very nicely, ran a really Louisiana solid Bay. race. Was very encouraging. Freedom. Tuscan goal third. Track Phantom finished fourth. Catching freedom. What a day for Brad Cox and Flappy and Pratt. They take the Louisiana Derby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty I mean, good gallop we out. Mentioned earlier about the improvement that these horses like can show going a little bit more. And I still don't like that with he train, he doesn't train catching well, freedom. Now. Well. That really bothers uh, me. He was but only we'll beaten see, uh, how that, in the Risen Star. That comes Lost out. A lot of ground. He's, he so now we'll take a look at our pace study following the viewing of the races. And um, again, 1FR, 2FR, 3FR, those are the first, second, third pace calls for each. So that's the half mile, the three quarter, and then the final. Um, and then we have on the bottom EPAP SP early pace. That's the second call. We use the Louisiana Derby, the last race is referenced. Sustained pace, second and third calls, averaged out. And then the average pace is averaging the EP and the SP. And uh, by this point, uh, if you've watched all the, vi the uh, presentations we've made so far, mm -hmm. then this will be clear to you. So we'll start with the Kentucky Jockey Club. And this was the conclusion of Honor Marie's two year old year. And you'll see these are all feet per second, by the way. This is how many feet per second uh, the horse is traveling at each pace call. And you see in the Jockey Club, uh, Anna Marie was getting faster as the race was going on with a very nice 54.26 final fraction. Anything over 53 is considered very good and uh, derby worthy so this is a really good race because it is showing a horse that's uh, accelerating as the race is going on and as we know uh, horses decelerate uh, usually as they run a race so this is a pretty good sign um, now we'll see in the risen star obviously the the rust had to get knocked off to debuting at three and uh, was a little sluggish to get going. Didn't break poorly, but uh, was just slow to engage. But then you see that same pattern of acceleration uh, getting faster as the race goes on incrementally. And even though it was uh, a race that was uh, subpar for Anna Marie, I mean, the, the, the thing you do have to like is you have that same pattern of getting faster as the race progresses. And still, the third fraction wasn't bad. Uh, so uh, all in all, while it was a disappointing race, for the first off the bench, it wasn't that bad. Now we look at the Louisiana Derby at a mile and three sixteenths, and we see the uh, back to uh, his old self with the first fraction and a little quicker than he ran in the jockey club. And then you see that middle move. Uh, that he made that closes off and do to get into the race. And what's uh, important about that is it is an improvement over his best race at two, the Jockey Club. Uh, much better, in fact, a full, you know, a full 10 feet per se or one foot per second. So uh, that's a very good sign. And then you see he closed very well with, with a 53.95. And again, that's an excellent uh, final fraction, particularly at a mile and three sixteenths, and it just was wasn't quite as good as Catching Freedom. That's all. Uh, it doesn't mean that he didn't run an excellent race. And nine times out of ten, I'd say, uh, given that scenario, uh, Anna Marie went, wins the race. So it was just a, a hair below what Catching Freedom did. So all in all, the most important thing to see is that you got a horse coming in third off the layoff into the derby on a progression of getting better uh, from one start to the next. And if this one can uh, run back to that same form of the Kentucky Jockey Club with those type of fractions, Anna Marie is a very serious win candidate for the derby. Right now, you'd have to say is maybe just a hair below the top three. But 
again, third off the layoff with the proper progression that we've seen from this horse and how as the as, from one race to the next, this one will get progressively better. It's pretty exciting to think uh, about Anna Marie's chances for the Derby. So we look at our final page, issues and concerns. Um, the only thing I would say is, and I don't think it's that big a deal, but Anna Marie seems a little more pace dependent than perhaps some of the other closers. Just a little bit more, not a whole lot. So it's not a real big issue, but it is something you have to think about. Uh, the, the positive to that is most of the time there is pace in the Derby. And more often than not, if some horse gets keyed up and gets excited and it just uh, uh, upsets the apple card for any type of moderate fractions. So uh, it probably would work in Honor Marie's favor. Uh, the uh, whatever the pace scenario is for the Derby, but I think it'll be at least at the very least it'll be average, but it'll probably be a little above average. So that should be good for Anna Marie. Working on a trip, of course, being a late runner, uh, that's always the issue is getting the trip. But we have seen that uh, Anna Marie can be tactical and swing out. We've seen that in a couple of races. So is not it doesn't have that like freight train effect that's. Uh, Sierra Leone does where once he gets going you know it's hard to hard to stop and if he is stopped it, it ruins the race I think this one's a little more tactical than that so that's a positive um, progression I, I don't think that's really an issue but it is always something you have to think about uh, going in but I think all the signs are pointed for Anna Marie to run a big race in the Derby but it is something we have to think about, given the fact that there was a little sluggish start. And it's really, you know, honestly, it's the progression of catching freedom that is, is more the concern. Because if uh, he moves forward, then Anna Marie is going to be just a little bit behind him. So anyway, I think the future is very bright for Anna Marie. I think it is definitely a top five derby contender. And with a little luck on the trip and... Um, a significant move forward, this one is right there and will have every chance uh, to take down the roses.